Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to, I guess you could say, paint an image onto another image. So you're gonna take one image and you're going to paint it realistically onto your plate image, I guess. So like an image like this. So we maybe we, I'm gonna take the Japanese flag and paint it onto the wall over there and try to make it look like someone actually painted it onto that wall. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work um, with a separate layer so we don't have to undo a bunch of stuff because we're going to be making some manipulations to that separate layer, saving it, and then bringing it back in in a different way. So we can just go right here into this little, um, you go into history and then down here to this create new instance. Uh, it's going to create an exact replica of the document. If you don't have history in right here, it's either in just reset to essentials or go into window and then down to history. Click this new tab. And so now if you see it created another Photoshop file right here that is an exact duplicate of the other one. So then we're just going to go into image, then, um, or yeah, image adjustments, and then down to desaturate to make it black and white. Then we're going to add a little brightness and contrast. More contrast you have is usually the better. It'll allow the displacement map, which we're going to be creating, to work better because it works better off of harsh edges. So yeah, now we have the black and whites. So now all we have to do is just go and save this file into somewhere you can find it. I'm gonna save it as delete layer.psd just because that is what it named it. Whenever you create an instance through this, it's just going to name it as whatever the last instance was. Um, you can name it to something that you can find easier. Try to put it in the file you're working with. Um, so try to put it in wherever this file is. It'll make it easier to find. Now, one more thing we should do is we're going to file, we're going to place embedded, we're going to grab the image that we want to paint onto the object right here, and then we're just gonna fit it to where we want it. So yeah, hold, I'm holding shift to make it go down at a reasonable rate, put it right here, and you kinda wanna work this out so it, it, it kinda fits to where you want it to go. Um, let's see, yeah. I'm just, yeah, that looks pretty good for right now. There might be a little weirdness with like that piece way out in the end, like a painter maybe not wouldn't do that. Um, and some of these little dots, but you could clean that up yourself. And of course there's, you know, big old logo at the bottom, but we're just gonna work with this. Um, if you wanna hit multiply, you can kind of see that better. Like kind of see where you're trying to put this thing. And I think that if, put it maybe like right there, that might be kind of realistic. So yeah, you kind of got to move it to make it actually appear like it would be realistic. So yeah, mm, that looks good. So now we're just going to do this. We're going to leave it in multiply. You can take it back out of the multiply. We're just going to take the original layer. So click enter to uh, set that transform. Click the original layer and either drag it down to the trash can or hit the delete key. And now we have this right here. So we're just going to file, export that. You can quick export as a PNG. You can export it as a JPEG. I'm just going to quickly export it as a JPEG. Set all the settings, make sure that it is taking off of the the original file here. And the reason we're doing this is now we're creating a new image of the placement on the old image that we were we want it. So we had it as a template, we place it, and now we're saving that location. So we click export all, and it's going to just be delete layer.jpg. Sure. Click OK, and now we have our new layer, um, our new image saved in the place that we want it. Make sure you get it set right here because you won't be able to move it realistically in here. It'll make it look kind of off because it's it's being adjusted for the exact place you put it in. So now the next thing we do is we're gonna hit place embedded and we're gonna go find that file that we just saved. So it's delete layer.jpg. Click place and you'll see it's added back there. We can go ahead and hit multiply to remove all that white. And then so now we have this image right here attached. We're then going to go into, I'll click, uh, let's see. Click enter to make to apply the transform. Then we're going to go into filter, distort, and then displace. And so basically what this is doing is we are just using the black and white as a displacement map so that this thing will adjust to basically displace. Um, it'll indent itself into the blacks and it'll pull itself out into the whites to make it look like it was actually painted onto something. Click OK and then we're going to go find a delete layer is what ours was called. Go find the PSD. Click OK and if you'll take a close look right here, zoom in, holding the Alt key for this, it's displacing it. You can see that it like moves it down just a little bit to make it look like it went under here. Um, you can see it right here as well. It's kind of making it fall under and go on, uh, moving it around a little bit. And so this is basically the essence of the effect is it's 
manipulating it so that it looks like it's actually a part of this image. And so now we have to clean it up and actually make it look like it's a part of the image. We can just go through these and try to find one that looks better than the others. Um, dark in color actually looks pretty good because it looks like it's like a really bright and blotchy sort of um, sort of drawing on there. So you see now it looks kind of look. I don't know. I like it. I like. I think it looks pretty cool. Always lower the opacity. 100% usually isn't right. So if we lower it down to maybe like what do we lower that down 50 percent that looks kind of weather faded if it didn't have that swirly it'd look even better but um so now it actually looks like someone could have painted this on there there's like mistakes throughout it there's blotches it's being adjusted so that it's going down under the different parts here and yeah basically that is the effect um after this you can manipulate it and adjust it accordingly you can you know maybe grab the, the smudge tool and smudge some edges of it um, you can trim off edges from the back and the sides so that it looks a little bit more realistic. But the essence of the effect here is using the displacement map to actually attach it to an object and have it ad um, adjust itself to the terrain that it's being added to. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have got any questions or anything, post those in the comments below. And until next time guys, see ya.